I was just questioning things and I was like, you know what, I'm done with competing. That is that done, you know, I am done with competing, I'm never going back again. And then... Hey guys and welcome back to the channel CZ.fit here and I hope you guys are doing well. So it is Monday the 7th of March. How is it already March? Goodness me. Um, but thought I would just bring you guys along to the week with me, just kind of snippets of my day to day. Just thought we'd do like a nice and chill vlog together. So I guess a few little life updates as well. Um, I know that we haven't really sat down and just chatted in a while, but I'm just currently like 15 minute walk away from my place um, in this like nice little park area, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, it's very, very peaceful here. I've just been on a morning walk really. So I thought, why not start the vlog here? It's a nice backdrop, something different from my office and my laptop. <laughs> um, but yeah, so checked in with coach today. I'm just gonna put in the chicken video here. Um, man, I am so fired up since watching the Arnolds this weekend. Like, oh my God, Maureen and Laura Lee beautiful they are just they are the definition of bikini um but anyways since being back in Auckland um I went through a bit of a rut where I kind of lost my I guess passion or love for bodybuilding and I think I was having a like quarter life crisis where I was like what am I doing realistically um I'm definitely not big enough um you know if I stay natural I'm never going to get to that level um all this stuff and then I was like oh well, what's the point then if I'm not going to get to that level self-sabotage really I think a mix of it was also because I had like that one and a half months of just like being quite intuitive in London um which to be fair in hindsight, I think I did really well. Like I pretty much just maintained my weight and then through isolation, I also maintained my weight. So yeah, I think it's just because like I really lost that structure and routine. I then slowly tried to ease myself back into it. But then I was kind of just questioning what I was doing. And I was like, this is weird. Like I've had so much time off, like, whoa, tracking my macros. And then I was like, hmm, I don't really want to do this anymore. And so then I had like a week or two where I was just questioning things. And I was like, you know what? I'm done with competing. That is that done. You know, I am done with competing. I'm never going back again. And then after two weeks, I was like, no, <laughs> I feel like I've lost a part of me if I'm not thinking about competing or about, I don't know, being on stage again. Like when I was training, I was just visualizing the stage. And then I was like, why am I visualizing this if I told myself I'm never going to compete again? Um, and then I kind of had to just like sit myself down. And I was like, okay, like, what is your why? And I was like, well, I don't really know what my why is to want to get a pro card. Like, what is my why? And I was like, well, the why is just me. And I think for... A while I was like that's not a big enough why like there must be a bigger reason as to why I want the pro card and I was thinking about it, I was like no it's just me like I just want it for me like nothing else and I was like you know what actually that is a decent enough reason like it actually should be for you it shouldn't be for any other sort of external reason um so I was having a bit of like a quarter life midlife crisis and I think probably like you know many of us go through that where you kind of question like what are you doing with life you know you look at the things you are doing on a daily basis and you're like What's this for? <laughs> Do I want to be doing this? Is this my passion? Is this me? Is this like, are these my values? So yeah, that was kind of what was going on um, earlier this month. But I am now back and into my routine and into my groove and I have realized that I'm doing all of this and I have done all of this for myself and I will continue doing so. Um, alongside that, another reason why I was questioning whether I wanted to compete, especially this season, um, was just due to my bloods. So I did three blood tests in London, one right after my show, I think it was like three weeks. Another one, it was December, so just before I left because basically I was just so tired. Like I was, do you guys see a trend here? If you are an OG subscriber, you know that every time I start talking to my freaking camera, a plane decides to fly by. It's... Anyways, we are back now and the plane has gone, thank god. Yeah, so I got my bloods done, um, and I got them done because I was just still feeling so, so tired. Even though I had had my food up to like 3,500, 
um, you know, I knew that I was eating enough. My rest was fine. Like I was sort of sleeping a lot better, sort of sleeping a lot better um, to what I'm used to. And for some reason, my body was just so fatigued. Like my training was going downhill. Everything was just going downhill. And I was like, I need to get a blood test done. And it came back with um, my T3, my thyroid is very, being very low. And that's also another reason why I was probably really fatigued. Um, also probably why when we tried to run a mini cut after my reverse, just before Christmas around then, um, nothing was happening. If you saw my Instagram updates, I was kind of like, you know, I'm really actually like, I am always on point, but nothing's really moving. Um, and I'm so tired, so, so tired. Um, and I think that's probably because my thyroids. And also my estrogen, um, that was pretty much non-existent. Like I was not producing any. So that also probably explains why I just never got my period back after my shows. Um, also my lack of sex drive for a while. Too much information, not really like you guys are family, but yeah, like it all just comes down to hormones and what's happening inside your body. So that kind of scared me quite a bit because I was like, you know what, like, I really do like care about my health. I want to feel good. <laughs> I don't want to have shit thyroids. Um, I want to be able to have children. Like I know I'm only like young still, but I'm like, I want to have children eventually and I want to be in the best position possible to have children and having um, no estrogen being produced is not okay for that. So basically two weeks ago, I got my bloods done again um, and I've contacted my doctor here who was a lot more like intricate. He was like, okay, let's really look into your T3s and even just like all your thyroids, um, look at anything associated with thyroids. And perhaps like right now your thyroids are in the lower bracket, but that may not be enough for you. So we may just have to like actually get your thyroids higher, even though right now they're not at a like crucially like really low level they probably just need to be a bit higher um so he's doing some tests there and then also just testing my hormones again just to make sure things are okay although good news is i have been having pms symptoms um <laughs> it's not too much information i say anything on this channel so if you're a guy and you're watching this goodbye um but my boobs have been hurting so um my boobs have been really sore for the past week um and my stomach's just been feeling off emotions wise they've been up and down so I feel like I feel like this is like my period coming my estrogen finally I don't know getting back on track I really hope so um because I do want to compete at the end of this year it wasn't the plan because I was self-sabotaging and I was doubting myself and I told myself what's the point in competing if I'm never going to be good enough but I spoke with coach and he was like, honestly, if you can play second at British finals against non natties which is for those who don't compete, people who are on PDs, performance enhancing drugs, such as Anava, such as um, just anything that helps your muscles grow for those who are not um, as familiar with you know, bodybuilding and the whole sport and you're just following me along. Um, I am natural. So he was like, if you can play second against those people, like you are going to be really fucking hard to beat at a natural show so that's what we're going to aim for um so the natural show is going to be a lot smaller i really wanted to compete in the arnold's because the stage is beautiful um i watched it last year and i was like oh my god i want to be on the stage next year but like putting my goals into perspective i'm like i could go to the arnold's just for a really fucking great experience you know the stage will be amazing it will just be really great but realistically that's probably going to put me further away from actually getting my pro card because there's going to be people on PEDs who have trained for many years a lot older than me with a lot more experience coming from not only the UK but all over the world for the Arnolds versus if I do a natural show where the playing field is a bit more equal where everyone is natural hopefully <laughs> um, and like maybe some people will have similar years of experience as me like I really have not been lifting for that many years to be fair like consistently I've had like what one off season consistent off season my coach and now this one so um I just think from a perspective of where my goals are it makes a lot more sense just to go for the natural show um regardless of how much small the stage is or like how less kind of like you know bedazzled it is um, so yeah, that is kind of the goals moving forwards. Um, I am actually now at my heaviest, almost heaviest weight at um, 47.5 kgs. Not 47, sorry, 57. What am, I, what am I saying? 46, 47 was my stage weight. Um, no, 57.5, 57 kgs this morning. Um, we have been pushing food quite a bit. I'm not doing any cardio at the moment. And girl, I am feeling it. I am feeling it. I'm on the hack squat and I'm like, oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> Um, so yeah, no cardio steps are now down at 11k. Yeah, so we are living the best sort of bulk life, sort of lazy shit life at the moment, eating a lot, almost up to 3k. Appetite's not really there just because it's so hot that I have been opting for like salads and stuff, which obviously is not ideal when you're trying to bulk. Um, but it's just so hot that I just don't want pasta, but I'm slowly incorporating that now for dinners because it's getting slightly colder. I told you, I told you guys, it's always the planes. Every time I'm speaking, Maybe 
Maybe they're looking for me. I've never considered that. I've never thought about that. Maybe they are looking for me. Take me back to London, please. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've been slowly incorporating pasta because it's getting slightly colder and I can kind of stomach like comfort foods. But um, it's just so much easier bulking in the winter because it's so easy to get your calories and you just eat pasta all day, man. Throw some cheese, throw some bolognese sauce. Mm. Um, but when it's hot, the last thing I can think about is pasta. So that has been interesting. I've just been pretty much force eating. Um, but you do what you have to do, right? So that is a quick life update. I have a call in 40 minutes with a client and then another onboarding call. So I will catch you guys later when I'm home. I think someone's on the walking track and they're probably going to walk by and see me talking to my camera. Oh my God, this is so awkward. And that is a sign for me to leave. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure someone's coming, turn around and someone's got the kid. And I'm like, all right, cool, bye. Hey guys, so back now and I am just having my pre-workout meals. So I'm just currently having um, spicy fruit muffin splits. So one muffin split with 15 grams of peanut butter and then 75 grams of jasmine rice raw weight and then 80 grams of chicken. Um, I don't know if it's just me, if it's like a bodybuilder thing or my standards have just dropped not really um but like i just love plain combinations of things like just plain rice with himalayan salt and plain chicken with some peanut butter hits the spot like don't get me wrong i am a massive foodie and i will eat anything and everything and i just love food um but even just like the simple combinations i don't know they just hit so well like just rice and chicken with some salt and peanut butter it's like satay chicken but like a very basic <laughs> version of it um but anyways i thought i would just run down the current supplements i'm taking with you guys um just the basics really ones that i have pretty much stuck to since i started my fitness journey um and ones that i really do think are um going to give you that you know one percent extra boost and if you're putting in you know the work at the gym and all that already you might as well just accelerate your progress even by that one percent um so Currently, well, I've always taken um, EAAs and BCAAs during my workout, so I sip on this during my workout with creatine, so I'll mix creatine with this. So if you are looking for something that tastes nice, and that's also going to give you um, the benefits of, say, hydration, extra hydration from electrolytes, uh, improve recovery, because essentially these are essential amino acids, which are the building blocks of your muscles. So um, yeah, that's really going to help you with your recovery, reduce soreness, um, and essentially you build muscle through your recovery, like your training is a stimulus that stimulates your muscles but your growth like your, the way that your muscles grow and recover and get stronger that's your recovery so if you are training hard but you're not recovering very well you're probably not going to be getting your like maximum results it also helps you with your focus and it has tyrosine in it so 1500 milligrams of that um so yeah a really really good supplement that i swear by now i also take um oxy shred as a pre-workout this one's the gummy snake flavor i also have the kiwi strawberry which is also very nice this one's a bit sweeter um and essentially again it's got caffeine in it so you can choose this one which is stim or a non-stim without caffeine um if you go for the caffeine one just make sure you don't take it too late in the evening if you're training late because it's going to keep you up like it does have quite a lot of caffeine this one has um 150 milligrams of caffeine the non-stim has no caffeine so you can take it whenever you want they both have the same effects as a fat burner so essentially just um helping you to suppress your appetite so if you are trying to lose um, body fat and you're in a calorie deficit oftentimes what makes a diet harder is hunger right or cravings and essentially this is going to really help suppress those cravings um, and the hunger so that way you can push back your meal or essentially just feel a lot fuller with less food essentially it also has a lot of other beneficial ingredients um, I'm not going to go through the whole list but I will put the panel down in the description if you want to have a read through it I think it's very important that um, you know you are knowledgeable on what you're taking and why you're taking things rather than just kind of listening to I don't know what's on what's thrown on social media and just going for it so yeah I'll drop all the information below just in a summary so these two are what I'm taking with my workouts so this 15 minutes beforehand and then this during my workout with creatine and then the other supplement that I always have is just my protein powder it's a very easy way to get my proteins in and I will show you guys um, the selection of flavors I do have later after my workout I always have it after my workout with a um, with some cereal so yeah I'm just gonna finish my pre-workout now let myself digest for like an hour and a half and then I'm gonna go hit legs and shoulders I'll try bring guys along if not I'll bring guys 
along for my Wednesday session, which I will be doing with my friend as well. So it might be a bit easy getting her to film. Um, but yeah, I will catch you guys whenever I catch you guys. Hey guys, so it is now Wednesday and I am just having my pre-workout meal. So your typical, well my typical rice, beef and muffin splits. So pretty much just have been working away today. It's been a lot of just admin, um, catching up with a few clients. And then also just a lot of like webinar calls, um, pretty much just learning about business. Um, the past two weeks to be fair has been quite chill in terms of just like having a lot more time for myself which has been very nice. Caught up with one of my lovely new clients Brooke. Um, I was actually filming a full day of eating when um, I was on call with her and I was like you know what like say hi to the vlog. Um, that full day of eating never got uploaded because I just didn't come around to actually editing it and I just kind of forgot about it so that is my bad. I will get another full day of eating up soon. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just put in a little snippet from her. Um, and yeah, enjoy. Oh, say hi. <laughs> hi. Can to introduce yourself? <laughs> um, my name is Brooke and I've been working with Chen Yang for about two weeks now. How are you finding it? I'm finding it really great, actually. Um, there's a lot of flexibility and you're also always available to help me whenever <laughs> I need anything. Awesome. She is doing so well. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So yeah, that was a lovely, lovely catch up. Um, it's always nice catching up with clients over call. It's just like, I don't know, it's, it just feels like you just feel closer to them. Um, and obviously when things are virtual, you can't actually physically like hug them or like see them. So this is like the closest you get, I guess, like, you know, Zoom calls. Uh, so that's that was really lovely. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna finish this up now. I and mean, then I've got pool today with one of my friends, Ruby. So um, I think she's just gonna follow on to some of my workouts, like what I have planned, just because I do have to stick to my plan for my coach. Um, and she does wanna try the hack squat. So I'm gonna put her through that as well. Um, and then we're probably just gonna have post workout together by the beach. Hopefully the weather is still nice. Do you guys realize like every time I talk to you guys something has to occur in the background like they always has to be like a car or a plane I don't understand like <laughs> Anyways, um, hopefully the weather will still be nice so that we can go down to the beach um, But yeah, I will catch you guys at the gym and I'm just gonna finish and digest and get going Okay, so just arrived in the gym um, and I'm just making my pre-workout concoction So I've had my AHP Labs Oxy Shred and now in this shaker I've just put in one scoop of non-stim pre-workout. So this PSI from EHP Labs. This is great for a good pump. Um, also just for mental focus and also it increases your vasodilation, which essentially um, helps you with the pump and all of that. So very good non-stim pre-workout if you are sensitive to caffeine or if you're like me and you've already had caffeine and you don't want two different pre-workouts, this is great just for the pump aspect um, and also just for like your session performance. Like I've really found that it really does help me with my performance. Um, so I've just got that mixed in with my EAAs as well in here. And yeah, just need to put some more water in that because that's going to be very strong. <laughs> um, I'm going to go and do some steps before my friend comes and then we will start push, no pull. I always feel push. Um, and then I do have my cereal in my bag here, got 95 grams of Milo here waiting for me um, and then obviously my peanut butter cups bless protein um, so yeah it's gonna be a good session I don't usually train this late around 5 p.m. Um, so apparently the gym's a bit busier but we'll see hopefully we can just work in around people and hopefully the machines will be free when we need it and quick kind of note there is that if you do work out at a busy time and you're like me well, what I used to be like um, where I get anxious around that time because it's so busy just like know that your workout is equally just as important as someone else's so um yeah if someone's like hogging a machine or they have quite a few sets and you know you just want to work in with them like don't be afraid just to ask like how many sets do you have and then if they're like oh like three more just be like do you mind if i work in with you obviously if they have like one more set and be like oh like i'll just wait then but um yeah like don't feel afraid to just kind of like stand up for yourself and just ask <laughs> if someone's done with the equipment because you'll find that there are some people who are very bonkers and they do like six sets of an exercise and I'm just like, you know, if you can do six sets of an exercise, honey, you're not working hard enough in your first like two or three sets. Like you really only need two to three sets. Um, if you're doing any more than that, you're really not working hard in your other sets. So little tip there, don't be afraid to just ask someone how many fucking sets you have because you've been on there for a very long time. <laughs>
so that is the workout done. Ruby's just twerking in the background. <laughs> it's what we do to warm down, right? Yeah. <laughs> How was the workout? Good. Yeah. Right. She is. You're actually really strong. I know that. She's actually very she strong. She doesn't. Grow like, away. Yeah. <laughs> so very strong. I think. I think a lot of girls underestimate themselves. Honestly, like you are very really strong. Uh, she was like, no, no, I guess you are. Anyways, uh, we are about to go for a lovely beach walk because steps um, and have some food. I've got my cereal. I don't know what Ruby's having. Water. She's she's on her um, diet. No, I'm kidding. Uh, she's cooking at home. But yeah, we will catch you guys later. So I'm just having my post workout now. Wait, you still I'm just updating the vlog. I know it's in my car. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> like, vlogging. So we had 30 grams of um, chocolate, no peanut butter cups, and then some Milo cereal. And just here by the beach, which is beautiful. Here's our dog, just lying down. <laughs> Cute puppy. <laughs> We've got Sam here eating her mints. <laughs> Good morning, guys, and it is next morning. That was such a lovely workout. So nice hanging out with my friends. Um, they are two of my good friends from high school, actually. So we pretty much just went to the beach, um, had my post workout there, and then came back and made a lovely pasta um, to finish off my macros. And that was pretty much last night. Yes. Yeah, so it is next morning now. I've just had a onboarding call, um, and then have two more calls, a catch up call with a client, um, and then just training again today. So just kind of the same old. Um, that I usually have on my like weekdays um, and then tomorrow will be my check-in day so Friday Saturday Sunday with my clients um, so just thought I would wrap up this vlog here just so that it can get uploaded for you guys by the end of this week so I hope you guys enjoyed coming along to I guess like half of this week with me just Monday and yesterday um, hope you guys enjoyed the workout and hope you're all having a lovely week so far as well and if you enjoy this vlog make sure to give it a like and subscribe because it means the world to me um, and I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye!